<clears throat> so this is my first time actually like really messing with this. Uh, so this is my first time. I... What this is, uh, it's called this. <clears throat> I always get the name wrong, so I. So this is the uh, Super SD System 3. Uh, it plugs into your TurboGrafx slash PC Engine device. <coughs> uh, it sounds like it's an FPGA, kind of like uh, the Analog NT, Super NT. Um, but it actually plugs into your, con your console. It's not a separate console like the Analog NT or the Super NT. Uh, the problem is it doesn't plug into the Turbo Duo because the Turbo Duo doesn't have a data port on it. Uh, so I have this actually plugged into a Super Graphics, which is cool because I can actually play Super Graphics games on it as well, which, of course, there's only six. Uh, and this Darius Plus, uh, it's funny. So Darius Plus is actually a PC Engine game, but it if you put it into the Super Graphics, it uh, fixes the, uh, the visuals a little bit. It has less flicker, that sort of thing. <coughs> So, kind of what this is... Oh, why is that happening? That's not good. Oh, there we go. Uh, the video card didn't like something. What this device is, it's, it, you've heard, if people have heard of an EverDrive, uh, where you can you know load all your ROMs onto a, a, like a micro SD card, this is kind of the same thing, but it also gives you the opportunity to load CD-ROM games on. So, even if you're device does not have a CD-ROM drive on it, it'll work. Uh, one of the reasons I really wanted this is because I'm very paranoid about my Turbo Duo. Uh, it was the Duo that Turbo Technologies actually gave me uh, when I was testing for them. So it's kind of special to me. And, you know, CD drives from back then are starting to crap out a lot. You know, uh, I'm on my, like, third Dreamcast. I'm on my third Sega Genesis CD. Uh, and I worry about that. So... <clears throat> um, this is really cool because also uh, you know you can load ROMs onto it and everything but I own a ton of these games which is funny I was going through a lot of them and I own a lot of these uh, but it, it makes it a lot easier to travel so Midwest Gaming Classic is coming up in a couple weeks and I really wanted to get this thing up and running and, and the CD-ROM games were giving me some trouble uh, just in terms of how you have to load them on and everything <clears throat> so uh, but I got everything done the last few days. Uh, now, I haven't really tested a lot of things, so there may be a CD game or even a Hue card game that freezes up or doesn't want to work, whatever, and, and that might happen. Uh, the developers, it's just a couple of guys in Spain that built this thing, uh, so they're asking for feedback, that sort of thing. So this Darius Plus, like I said, I have this plugged into my Super Graphics, so it'll actually play this game with the upgraded visuals, <clears throat> which basically means there's less flicker. I think there's... I want to say there's more color, but I can't remember uh, what it is. I love this series. Oh, no, it doesn't like that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, not a good start. Now, I'm a big fan of uh, the Darius series also, so... I love the soundtrack in these games. And I do have the CD, ver uh, the CD games, uh, Darius 1 and 2, or Super Darius 1 and 2. Uh, I love the soundtracks on those because they're so non-standard. I'll just play it a little bit. So it's funny, this is a PC Engine game running on the Super Graphics, but it's it's actually got updated visuals like everybody always expected when like the Super Nintendo came out, and, you know, and they had a Nintendo game, that sort of thing. Uh, anything that had backward compatibility. Yeah. I'm not going to play too long because i got a lot of stuff I want to mess with, especially the CD stuff. So the control delete, or er, control delete. To reset a TurboGrafx game, usually you hold run and select. There we go. So the cool thing is they built that in, into this so that instead of just resetting the game, you can hold it longer and it goes back to the menu. Um, so... What you do in this, it, it is a little weird that you have to hit select to go between hue cards and CD-ROMs, but if you hit uh, the two button, it's got these options. I sug If you ever get one of these, because <coughs> this isn't cheap, this Super SD system, it's like 300 bucks. We're, it's totally worth it to me, though. Uh, but if you get one, do not do the boot to last game I, I, until you really get this thing dialed in. 
uh, because there's some games that don't want to work or whatever, you know, and it's just not a good idea. Uh, enable in-game trigger. That's that thing where you can hold, run, and select and reset back to this instead of turning the system off and back on again. Uh, you can skip the press run for the. You'll see that in a second. I like having it on there. It's just old guy thing. Uh, backup RAM, RAM for every game. I think this is for every game that supports it. So when the original TurboGrafx slash PC Engine came out, <clears throat> uh, there was no backup solution. Uh, but they, for the TurboGrafx, at least in the U.S., they brought up with what was called the Turbo Booster Plus. So the Turbo Booster and the Turbo Booster Plus both gave you uh, stereo sound output. Uh, but the Plus actually had a battery backup uh, solution in it so that if the game supported it, you could save all your games instead of having it on the cartridge like the Mega Drive slash Genesis and the Super Nintendo slash Super Famicom games. <clears throat> this was really nice because, you know, the, the games came on those little credit card sized Hue cards so they couldn't put a battery backup on it. Uh, enable arcade cards. So there are a few CD-ROM games that will support this arcade card. Uh, the arcade card was the th second car upgrade card released uh, there was the super system 3 and then the arcade card it gave it a lot more ram uh, so there's actually some neo geo conversions which are really good i'll show you a couple of them if they run because <coughs> like i said i haven't tested them and then select cd rom system card now i only have two in here uh, there's japanese ones and everything else i have had a problem with this one with two games so far with fantasy star soldier which is a, a uh, prototype that I actually uh, was testing. It's a U.S. version of Star Parodia. And then uh, Godzilla, the U.S. version at least, does not want to work with this. So I, I think I need a better file or something. Um, so let's see what, what works and what doesn't. I screwed up on the folder here too. I went to O instead of P because I'm an idiot. Uh, or is that a Q? That's a Q. That's why I just couldn't. Their fonts a little weird. Uh, some other people have mentioned that too. Uh, I think I said I was going to play Lord of Thunder. So I'll play a little bit. I'm using my Hori fighting stick right now. And so you're going to hear it clicking a lot. But um, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do on Lord of Thunder. I haven't played this game. And I tested this game. I used to be able to go through this on one credit. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do. This game is amazing. <clears throat> and there's actually a Mega Drive version slash Sega CD version. And it's god-awful. The colors and the visuals are just terrible. Because that thing had such a limited color palette. But listen to that soundtrack. But this is what I love about this device over, you know, the standard EverDrives that are out there. Uh, or the SNES 2 SD or whatever. Uh, this will actually play this, uh, the CD games with the CD soundtracks. So it's just like having a Turbo Duo. But the access time is instantaneous. Uh, switching different music tracks doesn't have a pause in the middle of it anymore. I love this soundtrack. It'll be interesting to see if the uh, archive of the stream gets dinged for any music. I forgot how much is at the beginning of this game.
So it's funny, this is kind of the spiritual successor to Gate of Thunder, which uh, came with every Turbo Duo on that 4-in-1 disc. And I do say 4-in-1 disc if you don't know. Uh, so originally the disc has uh, Gate of Thunder, Bonk's Adventure, and Bonk's Revenge on it, but there's actually a code you can put in, or there's a little thing you can do. And Bomberman, the first Bomberman's on the disc as well. It's just hidden. You know what? I'm just going to do this because... Okay, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Earth armor, I think. I used to know every armor to use on every level. <laughs> I suck. All right, three. We'll see. How I'm gonna be terrible. Oh. Wow, I haven't played this for so long. That's pretty imperative to get as many of those jewels as you can, because uh, you can buy a lot of upgrades, and you definitely want to do that. Oh, shit. Wow. It has been a long time. Oh, as my hand slips off the joystick. So what will happen uh, after I get enough of those gems and I stop getting hit by stuff like that, your weapon will actually upgrade a little bit, but not the way I'm playing. So right now, those little bombs I have coming off uh, the upgrade is, uh, oh shit. The upgrade is that one will go up as well. Ah. Ah! Wow, I'm terrible now. And you get one life. <coughs> let's game over for now, not spend too much time on that. Alright, let's see if this reset works, because it's been a little funky with CD games. Oh, there we go. Cool. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Uh,. So it's it's funny uh, <clears throat> to load all the ROMs on everything. Hue cards. I just created the folders and then you just kind of dump the ROMs in. And I don't know why that's not working. Let's take a look at that. Oh, great! I must have screwed something up. Uh, but the CD-ROMs, what I didn't realize uh, because there have been Q files and ISO and Q and all that stuff, I was just throwing them in there and it wasn't working. And what I found out was because uh, the manual is kind of tough to figure out with this one but you basically need to create a separate folder for every single game because there's at least two files each time let's see if sapphire runs so sapphire is an arcade card game and it's amazing because they actually have the apparently they have the arcade card built into this device <clears throat> and i'm on a super graphics you would think it would work because that was the thing about the super graphics is you could just put a CD-ROM on the back of that thing, and it would play arcade card games automatically without needing the card. So far,そうです。人類歴年の夢であった半熟力物質ネメシスの発見により状況は一変したのである。輸送、交通、建築など。あらゆる分野が飛躍的な進歩を遂げる中、人々が最もその興味を示したのがネメシスのある特殊な使用法による時間渡航、タイムトラベルの実現であった。政府は一般でのこの使用法を禁じ、時間渡航禁止法案を定
This is actually a really sought after uh, disc based game. Uh, and there's a lot of bootlegs out there, but I actually have a real one. Hey, there's an easy. I'm going to do it because I want to see a little bit of this game and I suck today. And you get to pick your pilot. Honestly, I don't remember which one I like. I'll just take that one. What the hell? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Did I just hit run? Nope. All right. See, so they actually program scaling in and everything. Pretty cool. I, lo I love this game. Whoop! Not a good first step. Ugh. Sorry, shitty hand. Where'd that power up go? Shit. Not good. All right. Uh, I mean, look at that. Look at all enemies. All on a PC Engine game. Alright. Uh, it sucks that it's been so long since I've played all this stuff, but I my Sony CRT TV took a dump last year, and I haven't really had a, a way to do anything yet. Uh, so this Super SD 3... Actually, has RGB output, so I bought a, what's called an OSSC, which is a, a video processor. <clears throat> and it converts the RGB signal to uh, HDMI for me. The other problem is the uh, current capture devices don't really like capturing the resolution off this thing. So, oh shit. So it's been kind of a pain in the ass just getting things to work. And that's really the capture device's fault. Um, I actually thought Elgato would work because I have a, an older Elgato for like S video devices, and it works great. But over HDMI, it kind of forces 16, uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratios. Uh, so this games like this won't work. Systems like this won't work. Um, so I'm actually using an Avermedia card, which is surprising that it works because Avermedia has always been kind of difficult with non-standard stuff that's modern. <clears throat> Man, this game is impressive. Oh, that's right, if you let off, those power up and you... totally forgot about that. This boss is cool. Ah! Yeah! Alright. Let's just do the bomb at him. Alright. Whoa! Sorry for my suckitude. I just haven't played this in a long time. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. This device wasn't cheap, but it's worth every penny to me. I mean, this is still one of my favorite consoles of all time, if not my favorite console. Look at that morphing and everything. What cool is that?
Dragon, dragon, dragon! How cool is it though that I can play a CD-ROM game and I don't need the CD-ROM anymore? It's just awesome to me. I know this doesn't look like much compared to modern gaming, but that actually was really cool. how good the soundtrack is too. This is pretty cool. <clears throat> this boss is really impressive for a PC engine title. Don't forget I do have it on easy. So. Yeah. It's like that bad guy from uh, the Ant-Man movie. Oh, all right. Enough of Sapphire. I'll have to, I'll have to show you Spriggan. Yeah. All right, let's see. Select run works. Yes. <clears throat> all right. Why are the cards not popping up? Did I accidentally delete that folder or something? Oh no, now it's working. Okay. Well, that's weird. Fire Pro Wrestling 3. I wonder if I can even play this or if it's in too much Japanese. Where's Gorilla when you need him? Where's Coolis? So these games are really cool and, and there's many iterations. Oh my god. I guess I'll just try this. There's many iterations. Uh, there's even games on like PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 in the US. Sure, sure. I have no idea what I'm selecting here. All right. He looks badass. That's like... Oh, is that Hulk Hogan? What's in here, brother? Uh, these are really cool games, but they're really difficult. And I, I suck at them. I forgot what guy I am. Okay, I'm, I'm the guy in the green. All right, don't forget. Oh, whoops, I didn't want to cover him yet. Oh, my ass kicked. All right, 
That's enough of that crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you want to hear is my hoary stick. Click, clack, click, clack. Um, I don't know. What do you even have on here? Oh, I know. I wanted to try Power League 5. Oh, no, that's what... Here, there's a CD I want to try. Uh, I found a couple other, like, golf games and some baseball games. What the hell? What's going on with this thing? I have too much on the... There we go. I think it was, like, Go Go Birdie. There we go. <clears throat> some golf game. Never played it before, nothing. I know you how good this is going to be. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Maybe I'll show you the worst golf game ever. Jack, Ni Jack Nicholas Turbo Golf from Accolade. It is atrocious. And there's a card version and a CD version. Ah. Oh my god, this is awesome. Ah. Holy shit. This is fantastic. I buy this soundtrack? See how this game plays. And we go to chip music. All right. Holy shit. Uh, I think I'm just putting my name in. Eh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just run, damn it. Oh no. Maybe I won't play this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, is this like a full like golf RPG like in Power Golf? <clears throat> Come on. Can I skip all this? Hell no. You are going to sit through all of this wide eye. Holy shit. I just want to play golf. What the fuck? Is this the prequel to Golf Story on the Switch? Holy shit. I just want to play golf. Alright, fuck this. <laughs> Come on, let me... Uh, sometimes you have to be in the game for it to work. There we go. There's another one, it was like, it's called like PGA Golf, which is interesting. And it's probably in this folder, because I labeled the folders wrong. There we go, PGA Tour Power Golf 2. <clears throat> mm. 
There's a mouse? I don't have a mouse. Damn it. Oh, boy. Wow. Can I skip it? Hey, I can skip it. Yeah, UPGA Tour Golf. Okay. But it's from Hudson Soft, not EA. different okay wow I love it when CD games go to chip music one player yeah. at least that's in English wow this is in English too oh I can see why you want to use the uh, mouse. All right, I need a mouse for this thing. I wonder if this was some PC game they they brought over. Oh, I should have looked at the clubs. Shit. Oh, it's actually not bad. Let's see how the game looks though. Okay. Oh, okay. So, where is there wind? Okay, there's wind coming at me to the right. Five, six, five. Okay. How do I shoot? Oh my gosh. Wow, that's a weird mechanic. Oh, look how long it takes to load. And this is off a micro SD. This isn't even off a CD anymore. Ugh. So I'm in the rough. Uh, I don't think I need to play any more of this. Uh, we'll see. Okay, oh, change my club. That's cool. Uh, 180. It doesn't tell me what my club will get. Oh, shit. We got way too far under it. Yep. <clears throat> Interesting audio, though. Got the plane going overhead. Okay. Just gonna do this. I guess this isn't bad for probably 1989, 1990. Um, in the sand. On the beach. Okay. Boy. I do like the audio, though. It's pretty cool. How do I go and aim my shot? There we go. Oop. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I'm 47 feet. I have no idea how that translates to this meter. What? In the hole. Oh my god. Well, that was obviously way too hard for 47 meters. 
or 47 feet. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I wonder. Oh. Boy, okay. Nope. Oh my god. This game is brutal. Alright, that's enough of this. Wow. <clears throat> Alright. I've heard of a bunch of these games, but I don't know what they are. I want to see this. So this was on the Sega CD in the US even. And it wasn't very good. <clears throat> so I'm wondering how... I've never seen this one on uh, PC Engine. Because this didn't come out in the US for uh, Turbo Graphics. It is a time when Earth's technology enables mankind to send spaceships English voiceover? on missions to <laughs> other planets. Uh -huh. The Earth's population and its accompanying <clears throat> urbanization created a need for raw materials in the building of skyscrapers and underground cities. You bet. Eventually, the planet's <clears throat> natural resources were unable to meet the demand of its growing population. And in order to solve mankind's need for natural resources, a number of exploratory missions have been sent to other planets in search of valuable raw materials. If I remember right, Mission this is a horizontal platformer? Having I think? encountered numerous obstacles, had finally reached the outer edge of Saturn. The journey has been long and arduous. Mm -hmm. uh, boy, we've been in space almost six months. Man, I gotta tell you, I really miss my woman. I've got no one back home waiting for me. Space is my home. This is where I belong. Oh my god. <laughs> you keep thinking like that and you'll never find a woman. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not the one who's whining about being away from Earth so long. Yeah, well at least yeah. I've got a girlfriend waiting for me back on Earth. What about you? Hey, girl, I'm upset. Unidentified objects heading our way. Uh-oh. -uh. This doesn't look good. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! They can blow up a whole ship with a shot from their hand. It's a pretty powerful enemies. I don't know if I want to mess with them. Oh, this, I remember that this game was terrible on the Sega CD, so. Exhibition mode. What the fuck? What? You can't even pick easy. <laughs> Alright, so one player. Does this work with six button mode? Hell no, it doesn't. Pause is run. Jesus. All right. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ugh. Okay. How do I get out of here? Okay. I guess we'll just do this. <clears throat> I assume this is the story mode. Name select. I want to use name K. Sure. Funny, this has complete English voiceover in it by default. Explorer six two seven, come in. Captain, I still can't get any response from Explorer six two seven. I think we've lost contact. That's the third this week, five over the last month. Another mission lost. That explorer was last reported near the outer rim of Saturn. Mm -hmm. and the first attack occurred near Venus. How could they get that far in so little time? What about time? Uranus, Captain? <laughs> And how can headquarters see these as accidents when they're obviously alien attacks? And those fools back home have no idea what's actually going on. Grr. They're out of touch. 
I'm certain that these losses You're in communication are due to alien attacks. I'm out of time. Our solar system is being infiltrated by a ruthless and hostile alien force. Something's got to be done. Now. It's funny. Going up to the command room and stir things up a little. I never even realized this game came out for the PC Engine CD. I was just fascinated by that fact. We've lost another ship with no trace. There's no question that these are attacks by an alien force. Yeah. It started at the outer edges of the solar system, and now they're heading toward Earth. No, they're by the inner edges. Is our only hope. What is it going to take to get you to... All right, all right. I'll contact Earth headquarters and see what we can do. After a preliminary inquiry, we'll contact you and let you know the results of our... Shut up! <laughs> Just get to it! Yeah! Sir... It's potluck day and the food's getting cold. Let's get this done. Captain, we've just received the report on the alien infiltration. Based on the current situation, did shall that guy we just have his eyes red? dilated or what's going on That's with those sunglasses? Some so pretty far, big granny uh, sunglasses have there. destroyed. We cannot allow these unprovoked hostilities to continue unchallenged. These load times are crazy the fast. We can launch an attack, the better. Make preparations immediately. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Woo, space luge. Even though his leg is broken at the knee, apparently. Attention, cam fighter. <sighs> You are the last hope for humanity's survival. The attack order has finally been issued. Holy the shit. Enemy is brutal. They attacked our unarmed. Can't believe I want to skip this and get to the game because I remember how bad the Genesis one was. Proceed Ugh. to meet us. I will follow close behind in the flagship recon. May courage and strength yeah. be with you. Get out there, Operation Human Shield. I'll be behind you. None of their uniforms match? That makes sense. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, sure. <clears throat> okay. What? Is this a fighting game? Oh my god, this is awful. I have no idea how I did that. That makes sense that it had a league mode. What the? I mean, you can't really see the ground moving even, so it's just the movement is weird in this. Bullshit for a shitty fighting game? Wow. That's all this game is. I thought it was a platformer. <clears throat> wow, that was dumb. Right, let's get out of this shit. Ah, Jesus. Alright. Well, that was a waste. I'm sorry about that. So, uh, I think it's actually ours. I saw, I think it's a baseball game I want to try. Yeah, this Rom Rom Stadium I want to try. <coughs> then I'll do one of the Fatal, Fatal Furies. 
show you how good the uh, arcade card conversions are. All right. You know me, I love my baseball games. 89, all right. <clears throat> so I actually have a baseball game from Japan to compare to this one too. Sure, I have no idea what this is. Oh, let's do com versus com. I don't have to worry about... Giants? Oh, it's only got four stadiums? That's not good. It's a CD! CD game, you only got four stadiums? Uh, DH, sure. Oh, there we go. Sure. <clears throat> we'll see an inning. Oh! That's a cool bad sound. This isn't bad. <laughs> Chip music. God, I really like that bat sound. It's not even on the bag! It's horseshit. These guys run so slow. It's funny, I like the visuals when it zooms out like this, but in here, man, that that kind of dithered look in the dirt? Ugh. Shit, that thing rolled. Alright. Oh, so that's actually the developer that made uh, the, the Valis games. Okay, so I want to show you, since nobody's watching, um, long time ago, before the internet really existed for people, uh, there was a retailer in California that did a lot of imports. Uh, so that's where I usually bought my imports. I'd call them up, <clears throat> you know, and order like Strider for the Mega Drive uh, for like 80 bucks, that sort of thing. And I got a lot of my TurboGrafx slash PC Engine stuff from them, the Japanese stuff. And this one time they had a sale. If you bought something, you could get two used CD-ROM games from Japan for pretty cheap. <clears throat> so I ended up buying um, the Japanese version of Red Alert, which I, do, I have the US one on here, and the Japanese a, a Japanese baseball game. We didn't know anything about it. We It never got written up because sports games just never really get a lot of uh, attention. So this is the game that we got. It's it's just adorable. Uh, this opening movie and everything. We we reference this opening movie to this day. Uh, I was telling him Rock today that I was playing, and he's like dashing, dashing. <laughs> this guy gets so excited. ピッチャーはジャイアンツ左のエース宮本。宮本セットポジションからライト。ジャイアンツやりました。1本1。3連敗から4連勝。藤田マジック的な逆転勝利。ジャイアンツにとってはまさに夢のような出来事。一方の近
choose if you want to be home or away. I'll, I'll be home. Uh, choose a stadium. I can't remember which one the giant stadium is. Try this one. DH, yes. So, it's another one where it goes into chip music whenever you actually get into gameplay. We played this game so much. Uh, myself and my friends in the neighborhood, anybody that likes sports. Um, we played the hell out of this game. I'll actually play this time. But this is a series, and I don't know if this actually, because in Japan this is called Pro Yaku. Uh, so this is from 1989. Uh... This is the first of three games I have on CD, uh, I, and I own them all. Oh, that music. Oh, holy shit. Oh, I forgot about the delay in the swing. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. This is going to be... Uh... Yeah, so the, when you hit the button, there's actually kind of a delay for the swing. Ugh, I'm not going to hit the ball. And this game is, it's near impossible to get a home run. Oh my god, he threw the heat there. <clears throat> hey, I hit it. It's going to get caught, but... So, one cool thing about this game that we really loved is the fact that these are all real teams in Japan. These are all the real players in Japan. It's their stats from that year, or from 88 probably. All the real stadiums, everything. And they actually have branding in it. Uh, real, uh, real stuff. Um, oh boy, I'm already pitching. Ooh, I got a side armor. Oh, I got lucky there. I think we used to put on that automatic. Or no, we, we wouldn't allow automatic fielding. We had to do it manually. Because they don't show you anything in the, in the uh, outfield. <clears throat> but literally, we played this every freaking day after I bought it. And we knew nothing about this game before I got it. Uh, but it's obviously a popular series, because uh, there's three of them. But I don't know if this is the same as the Pro Yaku series that Konami makes now, that they still make to this day. Uh, I'm not sure. Because this is this is made by Intech. Uh, I don't know if that's a Konami studio or what. Alright, let's try, try fastball. Ugh thing is you can gun somebody down like if, if you hit it to right field you can actually gun somebody down to first base which is pretty unrealistic this game this game's freaking awesome though oh yeah try to go home i dare ya wow this brings back a lot of memories oh shit what the hell i do Let me show you, not even the one after this. <clears throat> so th this is a standard CD. This runs off the original system card and everything. The one after that runs off the standard system card. But the 94 version, which I actually just got at MGC, I want to say two years ago? And you would never think is even a baseball game because the cover of it uh, has like a, a guy in a gorilla mask. It's so weird. Uh, this is a Super CD. This is a version 3 uh, game, so it uses the extra memory. And I haven't played this very much. I bought it, but I haven't really put much time into it. I've only launched it, I think, once. I've never played it on here. <clears throat> I expect this to be pretty similar if I remember correctly, though. Dashing, dashing! Yeah. So this is Pro Yaku Super 94. We always call it This is Pro Baseball because that's the label that I was given when I bought that 89, though. <clears throat> I'm actually going to let the computer play itself this time. I have no idea what I'm doing. If I can do that. 
Uh, ooh, let's do Giants versus Carp. And then pick the stadium. I wish they would give you a preview of the stadium. And eh, we'll play in the Giants stadium. But it's really badass. Like, this is MLB The Show before, way before it existed, you know? Let's see, watch. Awesome. <clears throat> I mean, it's all, like, again, it's all the, all the players, all the real players, uh, their faces. They probably, yep, so they show the faces. The real stats from 93 and 94. Right. Kind of uh, kind of bummed, but not totally bummed that they don't have like the stadium sounds. Oh. So if you play one of the Pro Yaku games on even PS2, PS3, PS4, uh, right. it actually sounds like a Japanese stadium. So you always hear them, you know, doing the music in the background, the doon, 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 doon. Oh. Um, and they don't have that here, but. This is pretty similar. This is cool. I know at the second one they added errors, but the second one, the errors were a little bit ridiculous. Like you'd have a guy in right field just parked under a, a fly ball and he'd drop it. <clears throat> so I wonder if they fixed that in this. Ah, Gaijin. Must have just gotten to Japan. Mr. Baseball. Doesn't have his stats yet. But I always love the series. You could change the position of your outfielders, which was kind of unheard of back then uh, in, the, in this era on, on any system. But it's really cool. They had all the stadiums visualized and all that. Obviously, it's not stadiums we knew, but we just like the authenticity. of the series always goes to chip tune when uh, when you're playing it doesn't play any CD music I don't know if it's because they're loading data off the uh, CD for every player but <clears throat> but it's cool that they actually you know back then nobody used knew what to do with CD ROMs so a lot of it was digital video let's do digital video it was cool to us that we got a baseball game that had they actually used the extra space for things like stats and all that kind of stuff that's why we always loved them. And it played really well. These, these games play great and they're fun to play against each other on. <clears throat> I wonder if it's just as difficult to get a home run in this one. Got someone in scoring Play. position with two outs. Playing. Oh, good bat sound too. All right, one more inning. I want to see if somebody can get a home run. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. That's right. I think you can actually... If you play a season even on the first one, I think that you will get your own stats and it'll save your stats. I think. It was either the first or the second one. So that's why a lot of these players, their 94 stats are zeros. Because I think you can actually run their stats up like a normal season. Yeah, see, 93, but 94, nothing. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if I can play a season, though. I think we tried, and there's so much Japanese, you just don't know what the hell you're doing. That was a nice hit. Holy shit. Yeah, the running speed's a little slow still. Swing looks better. Looks like there's less of a delay. Yeah. Love that bat sound. <clears throat> After this, I'm going to throw a Fatal Fury game in. Since I got the fighting stick here. Oh, that might be gone. Nope. Jeez. Sucker. Come on, Glenn. There are no home runs in these games.
Yeah, we gotta play this game. Nope, fall. Ugh. So no wind still, okay. Ugh. Watch me perplex this Palooka with my slow ball. Ooh, that's a good hit. Pulled! Ah, I got by him! Another run. Not bad for two outs. Come on, get a crusher up there. Oh, that could be gone! Come on! Oh. God. Ugh. Nice. That's a good hit. Holy shit. Look at that slow ass going home. Uh, get the lead out. Hey. Bring a new arm in already in the second inning. Wow. Nope. Suck a third. He's gonna try it. Oh, I thought he was gonna try it. That guy's got a cannon in right field. of hours my buddies and I spent playing these CD baseball games. Mainly the first one. I think we always looked and we never realized that another one came out because we couldn't read Japanese. Oh. Alright, one more half inning and we're done. <clears throat> Let's see if the carp can make a comeback in the second inning. I really do love a lot of the chip music off the Turbo Graphics. I, the sound chip in this was always one that I really enjoyed. Like the soundtrack for Magical Chase and Blazing Lasers and. Uh, World class baseball. Ah, oh, I love the sound, the the music in that game. Street Fighter Two sounds really good on this system. Sorry, I'm a fanboy. That's a nice hit. Just short of the warning track. Hit well. You can get by him. Score two. Look at the carp making a comeback. What are you waiting for, man? Get through. Ah. Oh. Fury. So that's Garu. I should have just named it Fatal Fury. So Fatal Fury 2 or Fatal Fury Special? Let's go to Special. 
This works with the six button. Hey, come on, come oh, on. I know his moves at least. Boobies. <laughs> Okay, so it does work for six button. I just have to figure out what the buttons are now. Okay. Ah, I think I got it now. Shit. Shit. I don't even have all the uh, arcade card games now that I think about it. I have to rip the other ones. I own them all. Special, right? Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. I just want to reset to the menu. There we go. <clears throat> I love that they had the uh, Neo Geo sound at the beginning there. I can do World, World Heroes 2, I think. I just don't have Art of Fighting on here. Or I do, and it's called something else, and I can't remember the name of it. The problem with World of Heroes 2, it didn't age well. I liked it when it first came out in the, on the Neo Geo, and I own it. <clears throat> but these games did not age well at all. These conversions are really good, though. Going from a Neo Geo to this thing? The deuce. Yeah, let's just leave that on easy for now. Sure. No idea what that means. Oh. right away uh i remember the moves round one fight all right remember that move oh jesus i made my ass handed to me this is uneasy Wow! Got my ass kicked. Seriously, if you put this against the Neo Geo version, it's not too different. He even got me there, really? Oh, come on. He's crossing me up! Oh, come on! show you how 
how good Street Fighter 2 is on here, and then I'll probably quit. So I have to get dinner. Street Fighter 2 is, uh, I really like this version. I bought this from Japan. <laughs> it's a 20 meg cart, 20 megabit. You have to go into a special video mode. And this was actually done by Capcom. This is what wasn't, like what happened on the Mega Drive with a, a weird conversion. <clears throat> Probably gonna be terrible, but oh well. I really like this version. Perfect. So, back when all these games came out, we actually set up <clears throat> this version, the Super Nintendo version, and the Genesis version, and we all played all three to kind of figure out which one we liked the best. And obviously, the Super Nintendo versions were really good, but they didn't bring Championship Edition out. They went from the regular one to, I think it was the Tournament Edition after that? But they skipped Championship Edition. And the Genesis one, I think, was Champion Edition. <clears throat> I'm so weird. There were like 20 different variations of this game. USSR. At least it wasn't the original, because there was such a lack of characters to choose from in the original. But really, this I think this has all the frames of animation. It's just the characters are smaller than the arcade one. Cheap geef. Where's Cracker Jack? Cracker Jack loves cheap geef. in this game, am I? India. It's crazy when you think about it, though, especially the sound. Because, I mean, the game sounded fantastic on the SNES. But this does a really good job. Uh, I can't do a fireball! Because, <sighs> I mean, obviously the SNES has better sound than the PC Engine, but I think this game is awesome. Come on! Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Damn it. Oh, come on. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit! Dick. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Take that, floaty McFloaterson. Should be the car. Love the stereo sound on this game, too. It really moves around. Fighting myself. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Cause I can't pull up a fireball today. Ah, oh, here we go. It's my combo. Yep. about like if a red fireball came out it's because they did a certain thing and damn it yeah <sighs> all right well successful first test i think very excited for this uh, device So I'll uh, obviously be streaming a lot more of this. I'll uh, put the replay up on YouTube since nobody watched the stream, I don't think. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, for a Turbo Graphics fan like me, this is awesome. <clears throat> Just awesome. I don't know why I have two 1941s on here. It's really odd. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, shit. I forgot to turn off the six button. It's funny, uh, since the six-button controller came out so much later, um, a lot of games don't like it when you have it turned on, so there's actually a switch on the avenue pad and on the uh, fighting stick that I have. This hoary fighting stick, which is badass, especially for how old this thing is. Uh, really solid and great buttons and everything. I have a version of this for the Super Nintendo as well. <clears throat> I'm going to play this quick. So this is a super graphics game. Whoa! So the super graphics was a big flub for NEC and Hudson. Um, it was kind of built to battle the SNES. Uh, it really battled the Genesis better, but they only ever released, uh, I think it's six games for it, for the actual hardware. And then there was, uh, like, Darius, uh, was it Darius Plus or Darius Alpha, one of the two, that would take advantage of the hardware if, if you had it, uh, but it wasn't a full super graphics game, per se. Um, but it's funny, they had pretty good developer support for this thing. I mean, Capcom did this game. Oh, shit. Um... The PC Engine was huge. It was bigger than the Famicom in Japan. It, oh, and the game freaks out on me. Maybe that's why I have two of them. Uh, it's it's really weird because uh, they also had uh, which one is it? Right here, Ghouls and Ghosts or Ghosts? Yeah, Ghouls and Ghosts. <clears throat> so, and this is considered one of the better versions now. Capcom didn't actually do this conversion. NEC Avenue did. Uh, it's it's an interesting conversion. Uh, some of the stuff looks really good. 
<clears throat> there have been many comparisons uh, of the Genesis game in this one, or the Mega Drive version of this one. Uh, I think this is a better game, but it's probably because I'm a fanboy, and I'm not a big fan of the Mega Drive slash Genesis to begin with. But I mean, this is a really faithful conversion, but it wasn't done by Capcom. Uh, NEC Avenue, eh, they, uh, they've done some good stuff and they've done some kind of shitty stuff. Oh, that's what I wanted. Hold on. So, there's actually a CD version of Strider. And I've never played it on this system. But I've heard it's not too good. Let's go take a look at that quick. That's what I wanted to try. And I think, again, did Capcom do this or did NEC Avenue do this? Yeah, NEC Avenue. I've heard they really screwed up this conversion. <clears throat> and I actually like this game on the Genesis. They did a really faithful translation of the uh, arcade version. Oh, it has an opening. これに対抗すべく作り出された。これに国費機関ストライダーズ。世界平和を守るため、日夜戦う彼らの中に最年少にして最強の一人の青年がいた。彼の名は。うー。オッケー。Okay. So this is one of Mark's favorite games ever, Strider itself. Um, not the not the PC Engine version. All right. I'm going to say easy because I have no idea what I'm doing right now. It's funny, it keeps, yeah, it keeps switching resolution, so this is what happens. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Obviously, none of that was in the arcade slash Genesis version. So when that no signal thing came comes up, it's because they're uh, ooh, because they're changing the resolution. Oh, look at that! So one of the strong suits of the PC Engine slash Turbo Graphics was always the fact that you could get a lot more sprites per line. And you wouldn't have as much uh, flicker where everything disappears on that line. And it, wow, this is bad. I mean, sound wise, it's fine. But, ugh. Oh, yeah, Strider, baby. There we go. Come on, get up there. Oh, jeez. Alright, I can see where people are complaining about this now. Oh, you dick! Duck! Ooh, yeah, this is not too good. supposed to happen oh shit okay I can see why people don't like that all right well I'm gonna end there I'm uh, gonna make dinner hopefully people like the replay uh, this is definitely not the last you'll see of this <clears throat> but uh, 
so happy with this device. Set. Uh, and if you want to check this thing out, uh, so it's a couple of guys that are in Spain, actually. Uh, whoa, I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, but the I think the store is Neo. Yeah. Oh no, it's not. Oh, neosdstore.com. Uh, check it out. They've actually got uh, kind of a, a Neo Geo EverDrive as well, which I'd like to get, but um, it's expensive. <clears throat> but I've heard very good things about it. Uh, it's called the Super, Super SD System 3. It's 240 euro. I think I converted out to around 300 bucks. Um, I did the expensive shipping through UPS, which I think was about 30 bucks. It got here in two days, which is crazy. Uh, the, again, it's a, it's a small operation. So if you order it, don't expect it to go out that day. It, they're still kind of catching up with things, but, uh, this is a badass little device. Uh, it plugs into the back of your, if you have a regular TurboGrafx 16, <clears throat> if you have a, uh, super graphics, if you have a PC engine core FX, uh, it, it will not plug into a Turbo Duo. It will not plug into a Turbo Express, obviously. It will not plug into a PC Engine Shuttle. Uh, and I don't think it goes into a PC Engine LT. <clears throat> I don't have one. I wish I did, but it, I, I don't think it does. Basically, the data port has to be in the back. Um, it's got a full RGB output. That RGB output is also there. If You uh, you can actually, while this thing's plugged in, you can still use your, your Hue cards if you if you so choose. So if you plug a Hue card in, it works, and it goes through the uh, RGB output still. Uh, if you don't have an RGB monitor, which I don't, Mark has one of those 500-pound monsters, uh, I ordered a device called the OSSC, which is essentially a line doubler, line tripler, line quadrupler, etc. It's not a scaler, though. <laughs> so it converts your RGB signal. <coughs> it's also got VGA and component. So like you can do the Dreamcast via VGA. You can do... Uh, the PlayStation 2 via component if you want that sort of thing and it converts it to HDMI so that's how I'm capturing it that's how I play it uh, it looks great on my plasma as well uh, you just want a monitor that allows you to shrink the screen down to 4-3 uh, aspect ratio <clears throat> so like I use a PlayStation uh, display in my office and it doesn't have that so my games are a little stretched out horizontally uh, but it, this basically it's an FPGA from what I understand uh it allows you to use just a micro SD card. I have a 128 gig card in here. I think I'm using 79 gig total with all the CD uh, images. <clears throat> but it allows you to load all this stuff on here. And unlike the EverDrives that would just allow you to play cartridge games, uh, this allows you to play CD-ROM games as well. And I'm not using it off of a CD drive. Uh, they all come off this device. Uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, yes, it's a little pricey at 300 bucks. But for me, especially a, a Turbo Graphics fanboy as I am, totally freaking worth it for me. Uh, I will be playing the hell out of this thing. Uh, I'm in here now in my office with it because I was setting up the the, the minute micro SD card and I'm re, you know recording footage and that sort of thing. But uh, this has gone in my living room and it will go in my living room on the plasma at some point very very soon, probably right after I move. So if you have any questions, uh, post in the comments on YouTube here or, uh, you know, keep your eye out on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Torgo PSN or I'm sorry, ah, twitch.tv slash PS Nation Torgo. Uh, and I'll probably do some more streams of this there and maybe even stream on YouTube directly on my, on my little toy channel. So, uh, yeah, leave some comments and, you know, let me know what you'd like to see. I have a ton of games. I don't have all the CD games because there's like Mahjong and all that kind of crap. I need to fix the label on here so it actually goes to P. I to P instead of I to O because there's no P or Q. Well, there's no Q games. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to keep playing with this thing and, you know, see what's working, see what's not. I know Godzilla doesn't work. I know Fantasy Star Soldier doesn't work, which kind of sucks because that's one of my favorite games of all time. 
you can download this if you, if you know where to look. This is actually a prototype uh, U.S. version of Star Parodia that I was testing uh, and never got released. And I had the disc still, so I released it a few years ago. But it, it'll freak out saying I don't have the right system card, even though I do. Yeah. It's so funny. <clears throat> so weird. Hang on. All right. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions about it, whatever, uh, there is a an official thread over on the Neo Geo forums, which is neo-geo.com slash forums, I think it is, something like that. Uh, but just ask me, and I'll try to answer your questions. Um, but yeah, if you're a Turbo fan, man, save up your cash and check this out. Yes, it's ROMs, blah, 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 blah. But <clears throat> the funny thing is I actually own, I would say, probably 95% of the games on here. So... Thanks much for watching if you are, and uh, like I said, leave a comment, leave a question, whatever, I'll keep an eye on it, and I will talk to you all later.